last couple of years, and certainly will be over the next few weeks, for reasons that you all well know. I think you will, most of you will know about the, uh, the leaders' debate that happened, I think it was last week, and this gentleman, which my uncle alluded to, who belongs to a party which is pouring out racist rhetoric, every single thing he blamed on immigrants. And that's why it's important that this topic and this book is promoted and the positive image of immigrants and immigration is kind of talked about. And the reason why I say that is to go back 40 years. And this is not, this is not about politics, this is how about rhetoric affects immigrants in this country. I'm born and bred in this country, but my parents came in the 60s, and I was the first generation born in the mid-60s. And those who are slightly older will remember there was a gentleman called Enoch Powell. He, at that time, made remarks like, if we allowed immigrants to come to this country, there'd be rivers of blood. And he frightened people. He frightened people into thinking that these immigrants would be a negative uh, impact on, on the United Kingdom, instead of the positive impact we've certainly made over the last 40 years. And how it affected me, and which is why it's important that today's, not only is this negative racist politics defeated, but also tackled by books like Immigrant. Because my family wasn't until the age of 14, 15 that they accepted that we were actually going to live in this country. Up until that point, I remember sitting in, in, in the lounge and every weekend because my mom was here, those people who didn't have families, they used to come around my house because they could get a nice curry and nice roti and tea. And I, I had no friends because obviously, like I said, I was very few kind of Asian boys at that time in, in the neighborhood. And I used to have to sit in this room and listen to this rhetoric and all they talked about was they discouraged my father about saving money, about buying a house in this country, about buying goods that they could not take back if suddenly we were kicked out. That meant we did not have a car, we couldn't, didn't even have a TV, we didn't even have a laundry. Uh, when we went out shopping, I couldn't get the nice trainers that I wanted because the whole kind of uh, process was about saving money, sending it back home. We were only here for a few country, a uh, few few years, but we would be kicked out. Yeah. So that's why it's important that this book, we all of us, applaud Kashif that we we promote it, we talk about it and we talk about the positive contributions that the immigrants have made in this country. Because that is the only way, the only way we're going to tackle this rhetoric. We'll defeat it at the ballot paper, but really in 21st century UK, this type of rhetoric shouldn't even be allowed to be said on, on, on a mainstream TV. So thank you very much, uh, Kashif. You're doing an absolutely wonderful job. I'm sure you've got a wonderful career ahead. Uh, you're making a career for yourself, but you're making a positive contribution okay. to the immigrant community that's settled not here just in Manchester, but also throughout the United Kingdom. Thank you very much.